Hello, you beautiful people. It's me, Inferno here, and this is going to be more of a laid-back, chill kind of speculation video, because that's that's exactly what this video is. Voice crack. Oh, great. We're starting off great. All right. So, if you haven't heard, uh, there, there's, you know, I'm not even going to start off with that. I'm just going to flat out say it. It's Generation 8 speculation season. It is. Like, let's go. It's, do it's over. People are people are still playing. I'm not. It's not like people aren't playing it, but it's for some people like me. It's it's time. It's time to move on to Generation A. It's time to move on to bigger, better things. And um, this this theory, as you can tell by the title, has got to do with the Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution movie, which was uh revealed and teased way long ago, but is now picked up a lot of traction with a lot of different rumors and theories and stuff like that. So, the first thing, like, I'm not, I'm not even going to try to, like, slowly jump into it. I'm just going to jump right into it. We all remember the uh, X and Y, Generation 6, and the Genesect movie. How they used Mewtwo to reveal Mega Mewtwo, or Mega Evolution, which is something that was, it was revealed, like, X and Y was already revealed at the point, but we had never seen a Mega Evolution, which, by the way, Mew 3 st theories were blowing up at that time, it was pretty hilarious, um, and I, they're, I feel like they're doing the same thing for Generation 8, um, there's another, there's one, one channel and video in particular, uh, Ruffles Rowlet, who has done a bajillion videos about this stuff already i'll link his latest video in um, in the description because he explained it much better than i will but basically uh paul ryan the dude who runs poke shopper uh if you don't know it's a pokemon merch uh figure website he knows all the he knows all the shit about everything when it comes to merchandise and stuff like that and so actually for uh i think let's go or alternate Ultra moon he was he he'd been leaking things because he he knows he he runs the merch stuff, so he knows stuff, and there have been screenshots of new merch coming out with a with the classic trademark mystery question mark figure. Haven't seen that before. <clears throat> All of a sudden, moon. Um, sorry, I had a little cough there. Uh, so yeah, that's happening again, and so that that raised a lot of questions and Paul Ryan has belie I believe confirmed it to be a new Pokemon set to reveal around May or April of 2019 which by then is by then hopefully generation 8 will already be announced cuz if you look at past patterns of generation games of main generation games they've been announced in the early years February um March January stuff like that um and you might say, well, what about Ultra Norch Moon or Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? Those games, those games were remakes or stuff like that, so they didn't need that much traction. They didn't they didn't need that much time to be able to show you stuff. When it comes to new generation, it's a whole new region, it's a whole new everything. It's 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 amazing. They need they need time to explain it. Um I and again, I apologize, I'm jumping all over the place. I just wanted to get this video out to you guys. It's not gonna that's why I'm linking Ruffle the Rod's channel to the description because it's much better. Um, but, yeah, so what is going on now are the same exact things that were happening with Generation 6. There, it, there was a, there was a merchandise, there was a figurine from Mewtwo for when that movie came out, and they stopped releasing it after the movie came out long enough, and guess what? They're literally gonna do a re-release of it, they're gonna change it a bit, and then do a re-release of it. They're taking the, they're taking the merchandise of the movie that revealed, a, that revealed, a whole new mechanic in genera in Generation Six, like a whole new thing. They're using. I feel like they're gonna use Mewtwo again to reveal a whole new a whole, whole new possible generation or something like that. There's a whole new a whole new way to do stuff. A whole new mechanic, I should say. And going off of the title, Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. If you remember, uh, the video was uh, the video was called Genesect. It, I don't remember the exact title, but it had to do with uh, Awakened, and it had to do with uh, an Awakened thing, and Mewtwo's codename that was given, or like quote codename in quotations, was Awakened Mewtwo. Mewtwo 
uh, Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. This could be a whole new evolution thing for Mewtwo. Am I saying Mew three? No, but and but there are many, but there are many many speculations that are on the table. I'm just gonna throw out some of the ones that Rafael Rollo brought up. Fusion. Uh, if you look at the TCG lately, they've been coming out with uh, paired Pokemon GXs like Pikachu and Zekrom GX, which could possibly mean Fusion. When was the last time we saw Fusion? Generation Five. And what what movie did the did Mega Mewtwo Y come from? Generation Five. I feel like they're doing the same things over again, and I feel like they're doing the same things over again, and it's very interesting, and I'm excited to see it. On the on the other topic of that, there just been there had been a screenshot that had that had leaked from that had leaked for the video. It looked like a CG thing of Mewtwo, and and why and why is this interesting? Because I feel like we could be getting a reveal or a trailer for this movie within the coming days. Now, am I gonna give you an exact date? No, I could be completely wrong. I hope I'm not wrong, but I can be completely wrong. So take this take this all with a grain of salt. But I feel like within at least the next month, we should get a reveal trailer for, uh, for this movie, and and on the other topic of that, uh, the Game Freak Twitter, I I know I'm just spewing through a bunch of stuff. This is I'm gonna do a lot more. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot more organized speculation videos for Generation Eight because I love I like doing these type of videos. I love to speculate, but you know I just haven't made a speculation video in over the past month or so. There's been a bajillion things that have blown up, like the picture that that Game Freak posted. It was it was a picture that showed half the globe with the Americas on it, a tree, and a table and and I believe it was a table or yeah like a little side table next to that tree, with plus one mining on it. Not Pikachu. No. Not Pikachu. Plus one mining. And now, if you don't know, Game Freak has quite the reputation to give out little tiny hints on Junichi Masuda as well. They they had this tendency to live to leave tiny little hints in their tweets. Like Junichi Masuda, um, with the Let's Go reveal. He he literally showed it, it literally showed him like it was just a picture of him and his Pokemon Go account. With an Eevee, with an Eevee following, with an Eevee as his partner Pokemon, and he had an incense going. And the time on his incense was the exact date that they revealed the game. Literally, the point where they, to the point where the lure was at the exact date. It's such an obscure thing, but it's such a genius point, such a genius part on Junichi Masuda. And so that got a lot of people. That had gotten a lot of people. Uh, it raised a lot of questions. Uh, a rose, a rose. My bad. My English is top notch. Um, if you don't remember, this came out a while ago, like a long time ago. The Pokemon plus and minus theory. Now, I'm not gonna cover this, this theory too much. I'll probably save it for another video. Uh, basically, there there's a lot of things that that plus and minus. It's almost like uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say without completely covering because I don't have a picture of the plus and minus theory. Basically, this plus or minus could be possibly hinting towards a plus and minus. Like the code names of Generation Eight could be plus and minus. And there were a lot of things in that theory, in the in the rumor of plus and minus that actually happened. Not in no th this the plus and minus theory came out like before X and Y. I think it was either before Sun and Moon or before X and Y. Uh, no, it wasn't before X and Y. It was before Oras. It came out before Oras. So this was like twenty late twenty thirteen, early twenty fourteen, that this got revealed, that this guy that this dude came had this rumor, unfortunate. And there there's so many things in that speculation thread that he, that he got right that they got right, which just which just shows you the which just shows you that this this rumor could again it most likely it could be fake. But it also it got, it's gotten so much stuff to the point where it almost looks legit now, especially with Plusle and Minin in the tweet. So, so this 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 arises a lot of I said I said arise again. This brings up many questions like what is like what is going on? When are we gonna see this revealed trailer? What is Generation Eight? And again, this is kind of just like the first video to start off a slew of many, hopefully like. 
hopefully this is the video that starts regular content on my channel I hope because uh, let's plays clearly aren't working out uh, technology uh, not technology was yeah I guess technology wise isn't really working out so yeah I'm just gonna keep this video as short as I can there, there should be hopefully much more longer more credible videos about this uh, but yeah there's some news a bunch of theories and the start and possibly the start of a new era on the tiny inferno channel which can hopefully change if this new era can start off properly i've been inferno and i see all you beautiful people again next time